Welcome everyone to this gorgeous day. Today, since morning, I've been humming this beautiful song, Awakening. And it has these beautiful lyrics that uh, go, We are awakening to this long forgotten dream. Awakening to this perfect imperfection. So true. We are every day awakening to one long forgotten dream. This long forgotten memory of who we truly are. And we are awakening to this perfect imperfection of being in this human body and living the spirit that we are. We often tell people when they do something wrong that, oh, this person doesn't have a heart and how could you do this? This person doesn't have a soul. No, we don't have a soul. We don't. We are the soul. We are the spirit. We have a body. And we need to remember this long forgotten memory that we are never the body. We are the spirit in the body. And with that spirited thought, let's ask our angels what is it that they wish to tell us on this gorgeous day. The angels tell us, when intended, prayed upon, or simply asked, know that we will instantly ease your heart and mind of old unforgiveness held towards yourself or others. You have been holding a burning coal and expecting others to feel the heat. Let us extinguish the effects of all such burning issues that seemingly drain you. So beautiful. Just as the analogy of the dagger that I usually speak about, this is another beautiful one that the angels had given while channeling these messages. That the moment we intend or pray that I wish to forgive, you may have not even started the process of forgiveness or kind of forgiving or forgetting that what had happened or the person. But the very intent propels the energy of forgiveness. It takes you ahead. It expands that energy of love, of the unconditional love of God to be taken out and, you know, expanded from you into the world, to that person, to that soul who you want to forgive. And many a times, more than anyone else, we have to forgive ourselves. Forgive ourselves for all that we may have done which we regret today or that which may have any guilt or shame attached to it or regret for things that we may not have been able to do, whichever the case, the angels ask us that as soon as we intend to instantly pray and take away this unforgiveness, they shall be there pronto to ease our heart of all such old unforgiveness that we may have held towards ourselves or others. And holding this unforgiveness, just as I said, is like a toxin or like an acid that burns the container. It is in other simple terms to know that it's like holding a coal, a burning coal in your hand and expecting the other person to get burnt or feel the heat. That's not going to happen. It is us who are going to get burnt with that coal. So the angels tell us to release slowly and release that coal, that burning coal, the burning issues out of our system and let it go into the light. The angels urge us and ask us to take their help and assistance in extinguishing all the effects of all such burning issues that are completely fuming us, consuming us in unserving ways that we don't even know many a times. We can't even fathom what is going on. And we just can't pinpoint what is it that is causing this. And sometimes deep down, it is just that one unforgiveness, that one resentment, that one humiliation, that one hatred, that one insecurity that's gripping us and we've never known about it. So ask your angels every night before you sleep, angels, please help me surface any known or unknown things that are the burning issues of my life. 
help these issues to be transmuted into the light. Take their assistance in lifting these energies away from you so that you can lighten up yourself, so that you can gracefully release that coal out of your hands and let them extinguish the effects of all such burning issues in your life. The angels ask us that forgiveness in its inherent nature is us because we are love. We are that very source that we seek outside of us. And the angels tell us that we need to look at ourselves first and then others with kindness, with compassion and forgiveness at all times. So with that love and kindness and compassion in our eyes, to look through to ourselves and others with the eyes of God, with the eyes of the angels, with the eyes of divinity, which is completely unconditional and non-judgmental at any point of time. We are never ever judged. We are only loved. And when we do that to ourselves and others, we shall live that very love that we are. So with that, let's see what is the color of the day. And today's beautiful color is the light blue for our throat chakra. The energy center, the creation, the point of expression, the point which is the emerging center of everything that we want to speak out into the world, of everything that we want to express, the creative expression of life that we are, all of that rests in the throat chakra. So if you've been suppressing or bottling in your life, then work with the light blue to cleanse your throat chakra, your energy center. If you've been having constant colds, coughs, bronchitis issues, then there is a possibility that you have choked your throat center. So work with the light blue to open up this beautiful energy center and ask your angels to cleanse and clear it every day. Any kind of arguments, any kind of, uh, you know, kind of encroachments in your throat area will make you stifle, will make you kind of just go into a shell and not be able to express your true feelings or emotions to people around you. And even when you do express, they will be completely backfiring because they were with that unhealed energy that's stored in there. So let only and only love go out of you. Work with the light blue. Ask Archangel Michael who governs the throat center to cleanse and clear it so that the light of God can permeate and help you speak those loving words into the world. With that, we leave you for another gorgeous Friday and may you have a wonderful weekend ahead. Stay blessed, loved and protected in love and light and super Godspeed.